Technical Exports Promotion Council of India, Ministry of Commerce, Government of India for inviting me today to speak with you. Anupriya Patel ji, baat karne ke baad, koi baat karne ka zhurati nahi hai. Jitna Anupriya ji, आपके सामने व्यक्त किया है मेरा दृष्टिकोण से एक पूरा डिटेल एक चित्र भारत का आपके सामने रखे हैं एंड इफ यू लुक एट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट्स ओवर द लास्ट सेवन इयर्स द नंबर्स आर इंडीड वेरी रिमार्केबल इन 2015-16 द स्टेट क्लॉक्ड एक्सपोर्ट्स वर्थ अबाउट थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड क्रोड्स सेवन ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू वी डोंट हैव कंप्लीट डेटा ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू द फिगर्स आर ओनली टिल फेबररी आई एम श्योर वन मार्च डेटा इज एडेड बिकॉज लॉट्स ऑफ डेटा इज रिकॉर्डेड इन द मंथ ऑफ मार्च द नंबर्स विल बी इवन मोर इम्प्रेसिव बट फ्रॉम सेवन ईयर्स अगो वेन आवर नंबर्स वॉज थर्टी we have now reached a number of 73700 crores so we have almost doubled and as i said if we wait for one more month's data i am very confident that it will be touching uh, close to 80000 crores this is just the merchandise export by the way who have joined us today for this first ever stakeholders outreach program that we are organizing after the conclusion of the two very important ftas the india and uae comprehensive economic partnership agreement if you can see from this slide so while the population of both countries is small in comparison to india if you see the per capita income of these countries in purchasing parity terms they are 10 times more than india comes to that today's that point about uh, this uh, mutual recognition especially this subject it is very essential for the industry today especially for pharmaceutical industry broadly i can tell you uh, especially in the pharmaceutical side first of all why uae and australia will come and look at in india as a partner for this that means they are recognizing our capability our quality systems our ability to deliver right quality products at the right price i think that is a big achievement for the day and congratulations to dr reddy and the entire ministry of commerce for this landmark agreements i think these things do make a difference uh, they will act as catalyst for growth so coming specific to it industry in india i want to give you some very quick uh, summary of what it is where it is standing today it's this fiscal it is crossing 200 billion dollars for the first time as an industry probably will be around 220 or something out of that nearly 170 billion is exports uh, this is going to be huge for us uh, you know being a fta you know we are level fielded with most of the uh, you know agreements are already signed with south eastern uh, uh, countries like china you know uh, 5% to 8% is huge in the sector given which has been between india and uae is definitely a benefit for the jewelry jewelry sector as you all know our jewelry sector is now almost last day they were just 40 billion which is the highest in now and the 5% duty which we have uh, got exempted from dubai my name is rishab bmi uh, so we are in the business of rice export and uh, uae has been for the last 3 years in the top 5 countries for india as a destination for export of rice australia has been among the top 15 countries where we export rice right. so uh, the government initiatives like these uh, really help us i'll take you to two events that happened uh, during the last two years first of all uh, when we look into the education the cost of education you know every year it is increasing and the opportunities that uh, you know it is coming in the market not that great and when we look into even at international levels now after covid a lot of uh, changes were happening today's event is a part of the outreach exercise 
as you can see here for the two agreements india has signed with two of major trading partners one is the ue and the second is the australia these are fairly comprehensive trade agreements which cover goods services and other areas which with the with the with the objective of ensuring that they know that how pharma and pharmax will perform that's the reason they started with pharmaceuticals export promotion council of india at the outset i am very much prof profusely thankful to